So here's Charlotte. She was just recently fixed, well, I guess about a week ago, and uh, she's just inside recovering. We're a good baby. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, today's project is a cat door story, but we have uh, three cats that are outdoor and one indoor only, but it's a kitten. Uh, so here is the cat door I bought. Looked at a bunch of reviews on Amazon, and uh, there's a lot about pretty much the same. But you know, this one had a good price. I think it was like I don't know, sixteen dollars or something. Um, one of the features that I do like it has this little um, sort of a weather lining thing for when it go opens and closes, and then it has a locking mechanism so you can just lock it closed um, you can lock it so that cats can go in only or they can go out only um, we'll pretty much leave it open all the time uh, so they can come and go as they want to but it is going into this door right here it's a metal door it's gonna go somewhere like right here something like that um, I don't know if there's a template or what, but we'll get that out and take a look. Okay, well here it is. There is a template. It uh, has, I guess with the screw holes, um, let's see, there's screws. I don't, huh, those are not long enough. I don't think those are long enough for what I need. It seems like some of the reviews said that, that they had to get their own screws, um, but Let's see how does this work it's supposed to like come apart oh, okay all right i see now so the template you cut out the whole thing no so these line up okay so you drill the holes and then i guess you connect i don't see an in the inside template oh there's the actual like pictures that makes sense uh, I guess cut the, there's instructions, that's weird, I guess I'll follow them, anyway, uh, yeah, so you cut, drill the holes for your holes, if that makes sense, <laughs> and then you cut out the thing to fit the door in it, and then it, like, sandwiches, uh, tripod, whatever, anyway, it sandwiches in there, and, uh, I don't know, I think they'll be happy. I gotta know it's there, but we'll find, we'll, we'll show them. Alrighty, well, the instructions say to tape this to the wall and then start drilling holes in it. I guess that's what we'll do. Okay. It says go measure your cat and then go two inches up. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna catch the cat, but. Uh, what I'm gonna do. Actually, I don't want to go to the edge of this. I don't want to go cut into the whatever that is the relief or the decorative, whatever. This door is dirty, so I'm gonna need to clean it. Hmm. It says use a 3 8 hole, or 3 8 bit, excuse me, to drill the hole. Um, might want to start with a pilot hole. Might make it easier. I don't know. We'll see how this door drills. a perfectly good door I guess too late now I don't know how straight I went we'll find out all right next step why is the template and the instructions on the same page I don't know I guess that makes you read it uh, okay with it 
Okay, I did the four corners. Step three is now starting on the inside of one of the drilled holes. Use a saber saw. What? Okay. And cut through all around, just inside the pencil line. What pencil line? Did you tell me to write a pencil mark? Hmm, all right. I guess I'll just sort of connect the dots and then see if I need to cut more. Well, I don't have a saber saw. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments. I have a uh, skill saw, or not a skill saw. I have a reciprocating saw with a little metal blade and for the ears, so, all right. All right, that cuts too quick. I need to put a line. Okay. Huh, maybe I should do it level. Which the holes are not. Template. Maybe plumb that. Well, I don't know. Let's put a line. What? Put a line. There we go. I'm not sponsored by Milwaukee. That'd be nice though. Okay, I'll follow the line now. Maybe, I can't see it. Huh. I didn't think that blade was long enough. Well, missed the corner. But, heck yeah. Alright. Okay, I think something's wrong. The template. I even used their holes. It's a little off. But, I went to the bottom side. I think I still got the top side. Looking at this. Well, at least on the top. Maybe the bottom needs to go lower. I think it'd fit side to side, no problem. And even the bottom might fit. The holes are not right, why not? Okay, a little Dremel to sort of get the little bottom. Pretty close, oops, I gotta bend right there. Yeah, there we go. It's in. This side anyway. Well, alright, inside the door. I mean, this sort of inserts into the other piece, so... Oh, I have to clearance for the... Clearance for the lock. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta cut a little notch out right there. 
All right, let's try that and see what happens. Well, it does line up, but I see a problem. See it? That hole. It's almost made for like a thinner door because it looks like it should re like fill that hole and match up, but it doesn't. Hmm. Looks like a great place for water to come in. I guess if I could silicone it. Okay, well, I mean, these screws will work, I think. One went in. Yeah, it hits the plastic on the other side. But there still is a gap. This isn't going to be able to pull it in enough to stop the gap. So silicone, the entry, hole, whatever. Okay. Okay, well it's in. Uh the gap is this thing right here. I think it's made for inside door. Which hmm. I guess people do have inside door ones, but so I'll silicone the edge, fill that up, and call it good. Well it's in. Um, it works, just have to do some silicone, but but I'll silicone it and uh, lock it up for tonight. Uh, I don't want the cats using it and getting silicone all over them. Because silicone is like horrible. It just gets everywhere. Anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them in the uh, comments. And uh, have a good day.